what are the skills you need to have to become a product manager should product managers know how to code or design you get all the answers to these questions in this video Welcome to episode number 2 of Product Management Crash Course. In this video, we are going to talk about what all skills do you need to become a product manager. Apparently, there are only four primary skills you need to become a product manager. I'll talk about the first, that is problem identification. You should have a great knack of identifying problems, which are quite evident, but also some of them are not. I'll give you an example. In my first job as a product manager with a fintech company called Red Capita, which used to provide credit cards for college students, there was a very interesting problem that was happening. Salespeople were getting downloads for the app, but for every hundred downloads, only ten people were uploading the documents and completing the verification process. After observing this for months, I thought of spending time with salespeople and seeing how the users used to apply for the card. after talking to a lot of sales people and also with the users there was an interesting pattern that i saw that students were having phones that had huge cameras say 12 megapixel to 48 megapixels but very limited internet what that meant was every photo was 8 to 20 mb big and they had low internet bandwidth to upload and it took an average 6 to 7 minutes to upload a single photo and hence this was one of the main reasons why most students dropped in between and didn't complete the applications this was the problem we identified and solution that was very simple right you compress the files before upload and boom the application rate increased from 10% to 40% So one thing that you see here solution is not very hard it's if you are able to identify the right problem that is the key skill that you need to become a product manager if you want to become great at product identifications you need to be very good at research be good at talking to users and also understanding data if you have all these three skills i think you'll do good the next big skill the second skill that you need is persuasion As a product manager, you will be surrounded by people from developers, designers, marketing folks to CXOs. Persuasion can only happen when you are clear about your ask from others and how it will help the overall goal of the company and the product. How can you learn persuasion is to understand what you are speaking and make the other person understand why you think that is important. There's a book that has helped me with this skill a lot. It's called Never Split the Difference. by Chris Voss. He is an ex FBI director who talks about negotiations and a lot of good skills. So if you want to understand how persuasion can help you, do read this book. Coming back to the third skill that you need and that is getting things done. Ideas are great, but it is the execution that counts. A lot of people would have dreamt about having electric cars, right? Idea was generated centuries ago. but it was only elon musk who made it real hence get great at getting things done how you can master that is to become great at breaking down problems into very small pieces i'll give you a thought exercise suppose you think of a new feature like adding a status feature on whatsapp think about where will this be added how will the users interact with it how will the new users interact with it what happens when someone wants to share a status with only their friend not family etc so once you are able to break down the problems into this level you shall have a great ability to get things done from the team because if you know the details it's easier to communicate with the team as well the last skill is measuring metrics and improving you got things done great but how would you know if the problem has actually been solved you need to see the difference before the feature and after the feature let's go back to my first example when i was working with a fintech company we knew the problem was that only 10% people were completing their application for credit card and once we solved this problem we had to go back and measure the people who had completed their application and it was 40% which meant the solution worked and this is why measuring metrics is so important because product keeps on evolving for that you need to keep on reimproving and metrics help you do that so with that i hope i was able to help you identify the top skills that you need if you want to become a product manager 
again reiterating the first skill that you need is to identify problem really well second skill that you need is be having the great ability to persuade persuasion the third skill that you need is getting things done and the fourth skill that you need is measuring metrics and re-improving i hope this video helped you with that i'll see you in the next episode if you like this video do press a like subscribe and share it with your friends if you have any feedback for us do share it in the comments and have a great day bye bye